Adventures with Don. For Christmas, my wonderful wife bought me this really cool tarp. Tarp, you say? Yeah, this is a cool tarp. As you may know or may not know, I watch way too much YouTube videos. And I watch these guys that go camping and put a tarp over their, their rig and or their tent and stay dry. And one of those tarps was really cool and my wife bought it for me. So I haven't tried it out yet. And what better time than right now? Inclement weather, inclement weather. It's raining. <laughs> so I'm gonna go out, try to put it over the top of the back of the car and make an adventure out of it, including <laughs> taking train photos long as some trains go by. So my plan is to hopefully get this tarp up, be dry and warm, and wait for trains from a nice dry location. That's the plan. No, I didn't pre-use the tarp to see how it works yet, but it's a tarp. A couple ropes, what could happen? So let's see if it works out. I'm gonna go out there, set up by some train tracks, get the tarp set up, and Wait for trains. Wish me luck. Okay, found a spot to try this out. Coincidentally, right next to the tracks. So if a train goes by, I should be able to see and hear it. Down there is a road crossing. So I should hear their whistle if they're coming towards me. The other way has a signal so I can sh I should be able to see that so let's look at the tarp here it is by gold armor they thanked me for buying it which of course was Diane not me but thank goodness they gave me a warning that there's a risk of suffocation it's well packaged very tightly in here. I don't imagine I'll be able to put it back into that plastic bag, but time will tell. So let's put the camera down and see if we can get it out of there. Amtrak was running a little late today. It slipped by even before I got the tarp set up. All right, it made it out of the bag. Came with stuff. Let's see what this is. Oh, more ropes and stakes. Cool. Look at all these tie downs that it has. 
This is gonna be cool. All right, spreading it out. Give you an idea, pretty good size. Lightweight, hope that doesn't mean it doesn't work. <laughs> Trying to figure out which side's longer. I think this way is longer than that way. <clears throat> so we'll put it on over the back of the truck or car coming towards me. We'll try to get it all staked down. I bought some extra tent poles, mainly because I didn't know the tarp came with some, although they seem kind of chinzy. These are heavy duty. I brought a couple of extra I had from the house. Thought there was only four in this pack, but there's more than that. So I have plenty of stake poles. Now let's just stake them in. Part of it's up. Thought I'd show this great knot, mainly for my brother because it's a double half knot upside down bow tie square knot thing, and only he would appreciate that. <clears throat> but we got it over the back. I bought some cool poles. I thought that'd be a spiky on the end. So it could go into the tarp grommet, but it doesn't. So I'll have to tie it to this and then stake that down somehow. We'll make it work. All right, I'm getting there, I'm getting closer. Got that half up with the poles. Bought a couple of poles the tarp doesn't come with poles and you need poles so I gotta put up another pole and considering I have so many stakes you know put up some side guy wires also a couple of extra poles would have been good may have to order some more poles wow look at that knot Come on, John, that's something really good. I don't know what you call it, but that's a good one. Well, we're all set up. I actually even brought a heater, but it isn't that cold. I might have to put my jacket back on, but it's not too bad. So all we're doing is waiting for the rain to make sure the tarp is truly waterproof which I'm sure it is, but I need the proof. And I need another train or two. Got plenty of uh, time for the rain. It looks like it's gonna rain out, but nothing yet. And we got tracks here for a train. Think they would use it. Well, while we wait, what all good YouTubers do, they eat. <coughs> Excuse me. So I just whipped together this savory meal before I came out here. Rice. What's in that rice you say? Just rice. It's really not too bad. And yes, I did not make it. Diane, she's a cooker. Yeah, really not bad. Be better with teriyaki sauce and chicken, but hopefully a train. I'm looking right at the signal. No train. Give it some time. Let's see what happens. I 
at least until the rice is gone. Got quite a bit. While waiting for the rain, I found a bunch of damaged ties and bent spikes like this. Must have been a derailment in the area at some time. I also found the spur track. The photo doesn't give it justice. It's really in bad shape. I hope they're not using it. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's raining out. Raining out uh, five minutes or so. No leaks. So at least for five minutes, it's good. Now I have all the faith. And I think there's a train coming southbound, but it's still a little ways out. So, so far, our experiment is working. <laughs> I'm still dry though. Even through the rain, I can see the green signal. The train is a coming. Third locomotive in the consist was this UP Heritage locomotive commemorating the Rio Grande. I'd only seen photos of it until now. So overall, the day was a success. Tarp went up, rain came down, tarp didn't leak, and was able to see a couple of trains go by. So all in all, it was a wonderful day. And even more surprising, I was actually able to get the tarp back into its bags. Well, I hope you enjoyed the adventure. I had a lot of fun doing it. And like always, thanks for watching.